has made it difficult for persons living with disability to express themselves sexually, but we are all sexual beings if you think about it. But everyone still has that right to, you know, to express themselves sexually. And this is what we're talking about today on the Naked Truth Show, where we discuss all things sex, sexuality and health. Joining me today is Nasper Manyao, who is a disability advocate and the co-founder of Impaired International Trust. Now we're going to learn a lot from Nasper today. She's going to debunk some myths and educators that you know what disability does not mean my feelings of sexuality have been cut off nespa welcome to the naked truth thank you how are you i'm doing well nespa um before we get into all the questions what is the impaired international trust all about um impairments international trust is an entrepreneurship uh trust right yeah, because we, we sat down and we said, uh, we keep telling people that disability does not mean inability. Mm -hmm. So it's high time we do away with the charity syndrome. So we want to bring up our own strive, strive masiwas oh, okay. from the disability sector. Mm -hmm. Our own shingi mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. All right. So getting into it now, what is a disability? And what are some of the stigmas that you face as a person with a disability? An impairment or a disability is the barrier between me and what I want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, there are stairs here and I want to go to where the camera is. Right. And I can't because of the stairs. That's when you see my disability. That's when I, I say, oh, Oh, I, I can't get there because I'm on a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so disability to me is a, the barrier between me and something that I want to do, which doesn't allow me to do it. So in essence, everybody has been disabled one, or two, three or four times in their lives because we can't get to to certain points in our lives, so that then counts as you were unable to get the, not incapacitated, incapacitated uh, but, to do it. But not in a way that uh, you want to go to town at 11 o'clock <laughs> and you cannot no, get obviously high. not like that. Get obviously a high, not like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So obviously not like it's that. It's like, yeah, something in between that is preventing me from doing what I want from to do. From doing what you want yes. to do. What are some of the stigmas that you have faced as a person with a disability? Um, many people think um, Naspa is disabled. She doesn't deserve to get married. Uh, she doesn't have feelings, you know, something like that. Because when you talk about marriage, mm -hmm. Uh, most people think uh, it's taboo for a person with a disability to get married. And when, when we go to my clinics, mm -hmm. it's quite deep. You know? Sounds deep. Yay! But it's me, Akaremara. I have feelings. Mm -hmm. Eh. The organs are not disabled. Oh. I'm on a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. But is it on a wheelchair? It's not. It's not. Yeah. Okay. You see? All right. Mother Matundi and Dera Kwanada Wind. Does a disability affect your sex life? No, it doesn't affect my sex life because um, I have feelings. Mm hmm. And my disability, I don't see how it interferes with uh, my feelings because sex, we, we do it on the bed. I know others do it standing up. <laughs> right. But <laughs> you take the positions which you are comfortable with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, these positions, like you, 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 you are able to experiment and explore with positions. It's not just missionary, wire, wire, and denial. Yeah, why not? 
like I said, <laughs> Naspa, <laughs> it's Naspa, but the real Naspa. Yeah. Naspa is alive and all right. Yes. Something like that. Some, oh, something. <laughs> something like no, that. No, it's like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are they like friendly <laughs> or, 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 or comfortable sex positions then for people living with a, with a disability, so especially like um, limbs, talking about um, limb failure? Are they um, comfortable, friendly, you know, sex positions? Um, okay, let me say it this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are there. And it's like... I'm not paralyzed. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean. Right. I'm not paralyzed, which means uh, um, my sexual life, my sex life is not uh, affected. So we can explore and see what's best for you. Mm -hmm. And your partner will, you know, it's a matter of understanding each other. Mm -hmm. Even you guys, you understand each other. Right. You know, could see my partner likes this. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. my partner and Gambata up, she goes crazy, he goes crazy. Mm -hmm. So the same thing applies to us because we have sexual feelings. Uh -huh. Do you do you have like to my little gatherings? So I know it like no like my bridal shower, my kitchen tea, where you like literally discuss kuti. <laughs> Because we are people living, um, people people with a, a disability, to not famsa say can I you know to get full on satisfaction with with our partners. Do you sit and discuss these things? Yeah, we, we we do. We talk. Yeah, we talk. We have others who are more experienced uh -huh. than others. Yeah, we we talk. We talk. And do you do you get like information that you have gone home and tried? I know you you are you are, <laughs> you, are you are yet to tell us the the rest of your story. But have you ever been in a situation where you sat and you heard and you were like, "I don't know, we try." I'm a human being, <laughs> and it's natural. <laughs> it's natural. Yeah, yeah, it's natural. All right. Talking about uh, natural, another natural thing that happens is a lot of women, especially um, without consent. And it's not even like, do you want to engage sexually with me? In the uh, disabled community, what are some of the challenges that you're facing, especially when it comes to uh, sexual consent because you wheelchair. I simply tell him that I am not interested in you. Yeah. Because kwatiri is um, it now depends with the mindset of the man who comes to me now. Mm -hmm. Uh because it's like men should respect women like a no is a no. I know kuti vamwevano so puri kids and you end up, you know. So yeah, sometimes it happens. Yeah, it happens. Yes. It happens. And yeah. with 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 your trust, <coughs> do you have you ever dealt with those cases where women come to you and say, Naspa Shaitika Kwandiri, this man slept with me down the single day. Um, with my trust now is, remember this one is an, enter an, an entrepreneur. Yes, but obviously trust. when the heads are But then or, people yeah. talk, yes. Mm -hmm. But do you know, Kuti, it's really difficult for a person to come out and say, you know, mm. yeah. So it's like we, we have some cases Ekuti, some people vano muda machitaura kuti. This is what happened to me. Right. And it, mm -hmm. like we have a case where a deaf woman was ah uh, uh, not a woman. Let me talk about this deaf girl child who was raped by a certain employee mm -hmm. of a certain uh, institute. Yeah. Do you know kuti murume yeye akabuda scot free from the 
from the incident, from the whole assault? Yeah, the, the courts issue? and the lights. Because um, they simply say, he simply defended himself. And because our judges, they don't understand sign language. And Muzimbabwe, interpreter is only one way government. Mm -hmm. And at once we see say, sign language yacho, kutichi, ino, ino revei. So at times you see kuti people ka get trapped and it ka. Mm. And then for us to come out and say I've been raped, you know, many people think kuti one one my disabilities, one other sex is terek. More than when was in my disabilities, that's what other people think. Also, it's like unoto yi that it. It's not like you've got a choice to and say. When I when I went to my room, I was like, you know, because imi me we don't see you, muchita sha mono ita. But it's naspa you see her. You mm -hmm. go home, no scot hey. When I shrema janda wona, you know, that's how people talk. Mm -hmm. Though we we don't. So talk we, yes, we, we yes, don't yes, encourage yeah. people to talk like that. Mm -hmm. But then people say, ah, angari pa wheelchair. Akazodai, 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 you know. It, it spreads. So people end up saying, ava na wanda So mm -hmm. when I come to you and say, I've been raped. What comes to your mind, you see? Mm -hmm. But we are being abused, yes. But it's difficult to come out and say. And say we're being. Yeah. We're being abused. Um, another struggle that I've also discovered, it, and it was also like this is confession time now. Mm -hmm. It was also a fear of mine, or let me just say rather a concern of mine, um, especially for those uh, people in wheelchairs as mm -hmm. yourself. So as I was talking to you off, off, off air and you were telling me you actually had two children. Sorry about the one that passed on. Really sorry no, about it's, that. It's okay. um, and you know, but just me hearing you say you got children, you know, the first thing that came to my mind was like, "Saka numbio ya kaita kura se, saka upos numbruno kura kada apaneng arimu wuche." Like what happened? But the way you answered me, <coughs> I was like, "Wow, I'm done." Um, so that's another stigma. Which people who are disabled don't shouldn't be have got no business having children. And uh, that's where we go wrong now because. It's good for persons with disabilities to have children. Why am I saying this? Mwana wangu inini, anondi nzukisisa, shakanyanya, kudarika, ee, mwana we mnina, anondi nzukisisa. But, pane pekuti, pane pamwe pekuti, pano la, shumwezo kuti, even wako wacho, anotombo ziza kuti, ayo. You know, mm. Saka. I, I, I say pe persons with disabilities ka, should have their own children because those children, you see, mm. at least so it is as if we are, I, I'm competing. You see, mm -hmm. yeah, and it, it's it's nature. You know. Kondika, chandika sofu, nsuwa unzu kwa naspa wa imchenge tiri. Ndoti nyika ya kanga hii chichi nina andifanilu kuyeva sex, you know. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Anzu cha vunzu unzu kwa naspa wa kamichenge tiri. Anti, that's what we say. Why were you not taking care of naspa? Ndai bat. Hameno kana vai bata bat. Ndai bat. Naspa ngasha andi. Um, all right, so we are just going to take um, a quick break, and then when we come back, we are going to debunk some myths and it. Chakufuns are my questions on the true or false. Okay. And it. Right, so when we come back, Naspa is going to debunk some myths about sex and disability. Don't go away, it's going to be very much fun. <laughs>
and we are back. This is the final segment of our episode today, which is sex and disability. With me is Nesper, and she's going to assist us to debunk some myths about people with disabilities. So are you ready to debunk some myths here? Yeah. So I'm going to ask, and you tell me true or false? And where you feel a need to expand and elaborate, please go ahead. All right. So disabled people can't have sex. False. Disabled people can't crave sex. False, because um, my feelings are not disabled. I, I, it's, it's, remember I told you what disability is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so like my cravings maybe aren't. we, I, I, I crave more than you do, or we crave the same. So it's false. Um, disabled people don't need sex education? Uh, th that's false because we, we need sex education mm -hmm. because if we don't have sex education, that's when you see people experimenting and to get, it will get out of hand because if you look at it, we have our condoms, they don't come in braille. Contraceptives, they don't come in prayer. And mm -hmm. people end up saying, mm -hmm. So we, we need sex education. We do. Right. I, yeah. I agree with her. Please, more sex education more sex education. Um, last but not least, disabled people should not have sex. <laughs> That's, what can I say? Uh, false. Yeah, that, 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 that's a false thing because, like I said, wheelchair, but you don't know what I'm carrying, Kuti. Mm. You see? We should have sex. Yes, we should. And have she sex. said she's. And your voice just changed when you're like, <laughs> we <laughs> should have sex. We should. <laughs> All right. So Nespo, um, within the disabled community, if they sh if they desire to get help, um, in terms of okay, obviously we know for business this is where they can go. Where they can they can look for you. Um, but in, in in with issues to do with with sexual health and reproduction and rights, where can they go? Um. When it comes to sex education, we just follow others. Yeah, of course, that is so funny. Mm -hmm. It is is as if we are a, a divided people. Yeah, all right. So what I'm saying is, um, those institutes, the sex education should be inclusive. Uh, disability inclusive inclusive mm -hmm. what do I mean by this they, they should have someone who really understands what disability is mm -hmm. so that they can teach me or teach anyone else about sex all right yeah we have the deaf they need sign language mm -hmm. you see so we need someone who can do sign language? Who can sign? Within those so that, institutes. Yeah, so, so that when, when we come, everyone is accommodated. We don't necessarily mean that we need uh, something which stands for persons with disabilities only. Mm -hmm. No, because shops, there are no shops which stands for persons with disabilities. Persons with disability. Locations right. we don't have. So just those ones who are already on the field should be disability inclusive. friendly yes inclusive right. and well Nasper, thank you so much for joining us on today's episode if you enjoyed today's episode please let us know in the comment section remember to also comment and share this broadcast it is the naked truth where we talk all things sex sexuality and health until next time bye we're gonna get more lessons from Nasper. <laughs>